How do you know if a new polymer blend is going to be environmentally friendly? Juan de Pablo's team created a computational platform that uses machine learning to predict their properties. Polymers are these uh, incredible materials that we have perfected over the last several decades. And if you think about it, they are magical. They're very, very inexpensive. We use them from everything from uh, plastic bags for the supermarket to packaging for uh, pharmaceutical products. We use them for uh, automotive applications. We use them for airplanes. We use them for rockets. And they cannot fail. Over these several decades, we perfected all of the properties of these materials. And now we want to make them sustainable. What do we mean by sustainable? We like to use raw materials that are derived from natural sources. We like to recycle them, use them for many, many uh, cycles of repeated uh, applications. We do not want to pollute the uh, environment. We don't want them to be toxic. That's a very, very tall order. How do you replace what has become part of our everyday life with something that is equally effective or even more effective? That is the challenge that we have, and that is what we're trying to solve. When you are designing polymers, the possibilities are infinite. If you think about it, a polymer is this giant molecule that consists of many, many monomers or building blocks. All of these monomers can be anything you want. So the possibilities for design are enormous. We can spend our entire lives trying different sequences and we will not be done. So that's where uh, computing, artificial intelligence, statistics come in. We need to explore a very, very vast space of possibilities using modern tools from uh, a statistical uh, analysis from uh, machine learning. What we have developed is a tool that actually um, takes examples from uh, molecules for which we have a lot of experimental data, a lot of experience. And from those, we can start to rearrange some of the building blocks and predict the properties. And finally, engineer molecules that have target properties for some of the applications that we have in mind. All of the plastics that you use in your everyday life we can soon, I'm hoping, replace with a sustainable alternative. And not only sustainable, but competitive from the point of view of the properties and the cost of the, of the materials. And you want these materials to be recycled. And you do not want them to end up in landfills or as micro particles in uh, lakes or waterways. So these platforms are allowing us to start to design these new classes of materials.